Hey, hey, hey. So, <laughs> for those of you who know, my name is Shalithia Nicole, right? And I don't tell most people my name. Well, my given name because for the most part, everybody in my life calls me Nikki. Some people even call me Nikki Brown. But when I tell people, when I tell some people what my name is, they mis mispronounce it, right? It's too hard for them to say. I've been called Shalinthia, Shalicia, Galicia, but it was a little girl. It was cute. Um, but for some reason, those syllables in my name are challenging for people to say. But it's really pretty easy because it's pronounced exactly the way it's spelled. <laughs> But again, for some people, it's a little bit challenging. So I usually just tell people, call me Nikki. Because again, 90% of the people who know me call me Nikki. And it's, of course, easier to say, right? Um, I don't mind if they call me Nikki Brown, Miss Nikki. Um, some people even call me Nicole. That's fine, too. Um, I don't mind that either. Um... <clears throat> But again, some people find certain words challenging, even words that maybe seem easy to pronounce for other people. And I'm not talking about dialect here. I'm not talking about Northern dialect, Southern dialect, Western dialect. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about just words, right? So it's not funny, but, and I'm not picking on her. But I thought it was the cutest thing. You know, Dasani, right? I don't like Dasani because I think it's too thick. I'm sorry. Mm, whatever. But a lot of people like Dasani. And they buy it, you know, by the case. Right? So I was just at the store. Just picking up some peaches and bananas for my smoothies. And I was in line behind a, a lady. And she had two cases of Dasani water. And, you know, they're a little heavy, so she didn't want to put them on the register. So she told the cashier. She said, yeah, I have uh, two things of Dasanti. <laughs> That's like somebody called me Sh Shalinthia and my name is Shalithia. Like, where did the N come from? Where did that T come from? Where did this Dasanti come from? That is hilarious. Um, my grandmother says stuff like that too. She adds sy syllables and letters that are not in a word. Um, I was trying to think, like she's from Albany, Georgia, and she says Albany, like Benny, B-E-N-N-Y. I, I suppose a lot of people probably pronounce it that way, but she's so like the sophisticated bougie type they used to call people in my family used to call her joan collins because you know she would wear her stilettos to new york when she went to work honey and you couldn't tell her nothing because she would shop at, at Saks and nordstrom and you know all the different places but there's something else that she says that is hilarious to me Instead of shower, she says shava. It's a lot. <laughs> I just, it's just, it's funny. Not, I'm not, not in a picking on people kind of way, but it's just funny that people really take words and add their own letters and syllables and consonants and vowels that are not in the word. <laughs> and you can't tell them any different. Um, I have a friend or someone I went to high school with, I should say, instead of saying juicy couture, she said, she used to say juicy couture. She put an A at the end. I don't know where the A came from. Um, I'm just trying to think of some other thing. If you know people like that, or if you even do that, because th there are things that I say that, you know. 
that's not how you pronounce it. Or if it's a song, I might make up the words to a song. <laughs> so we all do stuff like that. Um, but sometimes it's just funny some of the things, the words that people come up with. Like, where did you get that from? That letter is not even in that word. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. Um, I just felt like having a good laugh with y'all. You know, laughter is good for the soul. Love y'all.